What's up, YouTube family? It's your boy Gotti. We're back with the video. I know I've been gone for a minute, so sorry about that, guys. I've been having a lot of personal stuff going on, just busy working, and I got to get in the habit of picking up this camera more, you know. And, uh, but I'm going to try to do better, keep y'all posted, like, you know, try to record on a daily basis. But uh, today we're in the shop. We got a 2016. Uh, Jeep Sahara. We're doing a candy paint job on. It's gonna be a uh, candy cobalt blue over Orion silver. We're gonna be using House of Color products. So um, you know we're gonna record. We're gonna try. I'm gonna try to record step by step. But you know I'm gonna do the best I can so uh, y'all can see. You know how I put it down. And you know I got the door jams already done. I think I may have a video of the door jams I'm gonna drop in somewhere but uh we're gonna give you the step I'm gonna do the sealer uh base coat candy and clear coat a lot of steps to the candy it's a long process and you know so we're gonna get it done we're gonna get it knocked out and uh yeah I'll stay tuned So here we got the Jeep, we got it all broke down, we got it masked up. Uh, got the top mask off, got the door handles out, got the step bars out, wheels covered. We broke it down as much as possible, you know. I mean, we could go a little further, but you know, there's more work cost more to do so we try to stay within the customer's budget but still give them a nice finish you know we're gonna go as far as we can with it you know so all right let's get this sealer laid down all right family we're back we got it sealed i only went one coat of seal on here we just wanted to turn it one color you know so that when, when we put our base on here we're going with the BCO2 uh, Orion Silver Max. And uh, we just want to turn everything one color so that our base can, you know, lay down and uh, cover good. So, we only want one coat of sealer of the uh, Select Seal 2K. And we're going to. Go with the Shimmer 2, BCO2, Orion, Max Silver. Alright, come back. Uh, probably gonna go about three to four coats of the base so that we get a good coverage on it before we apply the candy coat. Alright. Okay, we're gonna take our tech rag. The sealer has locked up. I'm gonna take our tech rag and knock off any overspray uh, dust that may be sitting on there, falling on there. We can only do this now and in between base coats. Once the candy is applied, we won't be able to tack it off or the clear. So we gotta deal with whatever trash we pick up after that usually don't be too bad we're not in a booth right now my new shop is almost finished so we usually get some trash in here and we just have to cut and buff 
which we're gonna get this show car quality finish when we cut and buff so we like to do that anyway but we don't want to get a whole lot of trash in there so I right, turn y'all back on after the first base coat is applied just to see what the coverage is looking like all right family back one coat of base I don't know how good y'all can see but actually covered pretty good I think we're gonna get it covered in three that's why I like to seal it so we get good coverage and we don't have to fight any light and dark spots but we're gonna apply two more and All right, what's up, YouTube family? We're back. I didn't record in between the candy coat because I like to concentrate. Like spraying the candy coat is one of the most challenging steps of a candy job, so I like to concentrate. Even though I've been doing it for a while, it's still something that you're gonna want to concentrate on and get the candy laid out, now all uniform. So uh, it's clear now. And uh, I'm gonna give y'all a look, let y'all get a look of it, and uh, tell me what y'all think. And got a little trash in it, but like I said, we're gonna uh, sand it down and flow coat it, and we're gonna cut and buff because we wanna, you know, show show quality finish. So I'm gonna give y'all, let y'all get a look at it. All right, it's candy cobalt blue. Got some trash in it, but the main thing is we got the candy laid down like we want it. Got a pretty decent flow on the clear coat. It's really hot, it's real hot. Like I said, I'm not in a booth. I really can't control the temperature right now, but uh We'll be able to in my other shop. It will be a boot and, and all that, you know. But we got a nice flow. Good enough to see your reflection. But we're not done. We're going to sand it back down. We're going to flow coat it. Uh, then cut and buff. So it's a lot that goes into it, especially when you're trying to get one right, you know. You take pride in your work and... You want it done right, so that's what we're gonna do. And I'm um, gonna try to record, you know, every step along the way. But yeah, that's a day in the shop with me. Tell me what y'all think. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. And we out. What's up, family? It's your boy Gotti. We're back a couple days after the candy cobalt blue paint job on the Jeep Sahara. We got it wet sand with 800 grit for the flow coat. We're going to do the flow coat today. We're going to be adding three coats of the DCU 2002. That's a PPG brand of clear. And uh, this going to give it uh, extra protection from the sunlight UV rays to help with the fade because if, if you're familiar with candy paint job, they tend to fade over a period of time. And uh, so that's going to help with that and give it a deeper wetter look also because as you doing a candy paint job you get a lot of build up of uh every every uh coat you add it gives you orange peel so we we went from a sealer to three base coat uh three candy coats i mean four candy coats uh, three clear coats so that's a lot of build up and orange peel so we wet sand with 800, we got it down, all the orange peel and any trash cut out, and that's gonna give us a flat surface to work with. So now we can add some more clear coat to a flat surface, and it should flow out and be way slicker than the first time. So we could we could have cut and buff, and you know, left it at that, but you know, when you're trying to get that good quality paint job, it, it tends to, you know, get get real deep and a lot of work goes into it 
And even though you're not getting paid for everything that you might put into a job, you know, you still want the best results. So we're going to, uh, you know, do it the right way. The only way we know how to do it. And we're going to uh, get this knocked out. I mean, the Jeep is not that big. The panels are not that big. So we're going to get around it real quick. Uh, we're just clearing today. So uh, we're going to go and knock this out and I'll cut y'all back on once I get it knocked out. Sanding around these door hinges was very tedious work. Trying to be careful and not bust through the paint. But we got it done. We got it, you know, tight sand real close and you know, we're gonna get it done. Alright family, remember. Alright family, we're back. Three coats of the DCU. 2002 Deltron PPG flowed out good, laid out good. See that reflection? Still got a little bit of trash, but not as much as the first time. But we're gonna cut and buff, take care of that. So y'all drop down in the comment, tell me what y'all think so far. I'm not one of them guys that think I know it all know everything any of you painters got any tips for me drop down in the comment i want to hear i mean we're doing this to help each other and be great make each other better so any tips i'm open to them drop down in the comment and i look forward to doing more videos to show somebody out there what I know. But man, uh, I can't wait until we get in a new shop in that booth. Man, I can't wait. But we've been getting it done up in this little two car shop. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Drop down in the comment, give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We out. Okay, family, just a quick look at uh, how I mask up the door jams. Go around, keep the overspray from getting in on the jams. Just wanted to give y'all a quick look at that. Hey family, that detail. You know, take a little pride in your work. Mass up the tags, you know. Tape it off if you want to look. Factory. How the factory would do it, but custom. Don't take much. Put you some tape over it. Cut it out. More detail. All right, YouTube family, we're back. Customer wanted to do some last minute touches. He wanted to paint the D anchors. D-ring anchors, same color as the Jeep. 
They turned out pretty good. Did a quick job. Uh, I scuffed them up. You bulldog, adhesion promoter, itching prime, and sprayed them. I think it's gonna look good. Now we're gonna get it put back together, get it cleaned up. We'll do the last walk around. All right, YouTube family, just about finished. Okay, my dad's shop, putting it back together, putting the running boy back on. Body man, Cree. Big guy.